Ohio goes a mass. Swoody, Tokyo day six. So um, last night I almost slept all the way through the night, which is great. Um, you know, but I, it actually works out because I like to get up early anyway. And, you know, when I get up, it's usually around, uh, you know, like lunchtime for New York. So I can, uh, you know, take care of anything I need to take care of with my clients. And then I can begin working on my own, you know, personal work, which is going really well. And I hope to be able to share that uh, in about a week where um, I have, you know, my blog, This Freelance Life comes out. And uh, I'm going to start talking about some of the things that, you know, I've found as a, as a freelancer, kind of going from a freelancer to building, you know, my own agency and starting up, you know, iPhone apps and things of that nature and, you know, being a, a working artist. So, you know, the first thing I want to talk about is, is uh, you know, I noticed something yesterday, you know, here in, in, in Tokyo, which is, uh, you know, there is, uh, there's, there's racism here. And uh, I, I was on the subway and I sat down next to a few people and there and they got up and sat away from me. Um, I looked it up on Google and, and you know and it said, "Hey, you know, don't be offended by that." And uh, you know, I thought to myself, I was like, "You know, do I do I do I smell or something like that?" And uh, you know, but you know, and my tattoos were covered and everything so. But uh, yeah, you know, they were like, "You know, don't be offended by that." And and the thing is is that you know, it's okay because I'm used to being different and I'm used to being uh, a little bit outside, uh, you know, the, the norm. So uh, when I was going to school, I went to, I think, uh, I think I went to like 13 or 14 different schools when I was growing up. I went to uh, two to three middle schools every year and uh, I went to a different high school every single year uh, when I was in school. So, you know, being able to come in and be new and be different and feel a little out of place is, is very it's very normal for me and uh, you know I don't sweat it at all so uh, you know one the thing is is that's interesting is that you know the things that we have you know that are here they're the same things that we, over there except that you know they're just a little bit differently you know so uh, you know it's just something to kind of take note of but uh, I wanted to, to kind of take some time and, and talk um, a, a little bit about you know, freelancing itself, because I noticed uh, uh, somebody I cared about, you know, made a Facebook posting about uh, pursuing his dream. And uh, one of the things that he asked for was he asked, uh, and, and this is a young guy, and uh, he asked for 150 likes to be able to go out and pursue his dream. If he gets 150 likes, he's going to go out and do it. And um, I'll tell you this, uh, don't hold your breath. So uh, not in a negative way, you know. Um, and and because the reality is is that what you're going to get is you're going to get criticism, right? Um, another way of saying it is you're going to get haters. And uh, the moment you go out and you start moving towards whatever goal that you're you're going to, people are going to start hating on you for it. Um, it took about 45 seconds, <laughs> um, and I'm kind of uh, I'm, I'm, I would say it took it didn't take an hour. It did not take an hour. But as soon as I put up my first video, somebody said something shitty about it. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's just, it's the way it is. Um, I think that it has more to do with, uh, you know, people dealing with their insecurities and their inefficiencies. I've done it to people and, uh, you know, I've had people do it to me. And, you know, that's why I always tell people, I'm like, critique, not criticism. You know, let me, te let me tell you how this could be better, um, you know, rather than tell you that you're stupid for doing it. Um, because the, the reality is, is that when you're a freelancer or you're, uh, anything, right. Is that, you know, your worth is dictated by yourself, right? So I know I don't have a boss that comes out and says, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to pay you 80 grand a year for 12 months. I'm going to give you four weeks vacation off. I don't have a boss that does that, right? I don't have a boss that pays my medical insurance. I don't have a boss that does any of that. So whatever I want for myself, I have to tell myself to do that, right? There's nobody else that's going to give it to me. So when I go out and start reaching and people start criticizing me for it, you know, it, it's just one of those things that I have to understand that, you know, it doesn't matter. And the failures that I have have actually made me more money and get, given me more uh, clout in, in, uh, in my industry 
because I was the one who was able to go out and do something uh, when other people talked about it. And let me just expand on that. Um, my iPhone app, my goal this year was to put out an iPhone app. That's it. Put out an iPhone app. Um, everybody talks about it in, in my field, and I wanted to do it myself. So I go out, I design my own iPhone out, and I put it out. And it cost me a lot of money. And uh, I thought that every single one of my Facebook friends would buy that app. And I would be able to at least, you know, recoup some of my, my loss. And that did not happen. It did not happen. Um, you know, it's in the, it's in, you know, let's just say it didn't happen. And uh, however, what did happen was that as soon as I went out and did something, I realized that when I looked around, there was only a few other people there. So, you know, it's just like in, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, you have 50 white belts, you have 15 blue belts, you have four or five purple belts, you have one brown belt, you have one black belt, right? You know, that's, that's the, the, the tier. So all I have to do is fix all this kind of stuff, you know, and figure out what's going on. And then all of a sudden, all of it's for me. So, you know, that's why, like, you know, in 2013, it's time to go harder because, you know, haters are going to hate. And if you want to go out there and you want to do something, you got to go out and do it. And even if you fail at it, realize that you may find success in other places. So when I was able to go and speak to a client and when they asked me about, um, you know, okay, well, what do you know about iPhone applications and stuff like that? I can actually say, well, I built my own, right? I built my own. And not only do I have knowledge about building an iPhone app or, you know, designing for the app, but I also know about trademarking. I know about copywriting. I know about, uh, you know, the failures in marketing. I know how Facebook isn't as, as reliable as you may think. Social, mar social networking, um, you know, building a community, there's so many things that I can talk about that another person who did an app for, say, an ad agency can come in and say, oh, no, I designed this for an ad agency. And then they took it and the company just, you know, threw a bunch of money at it and built it and it doesn't really matter. So, you know, understand the difference between the two. Um, so just to, to, to reiterate, to come back and, and bookend this is, is to, to, to my young, young friend is that, if you want to go out and do something, just go out and do it because, you know, you may, you know, get to the point that you want to get to, but all those things up to that point are going to be able to make you a better person. They're also going to make you a better, a more confident person. And a more confident person is going to be able to get a lot more out of this world than somebody who's insecure and is just wondering what they could have done. So that's my, uh, that's my two cents on that. Have a good day.